Hey folks, Doc Sigma here with part 30 of Let's Play Soleil for the Sega Mega Drive. Let's get to some business. Looks like the time traveling tornado has arrived right here in Dahlia Valley. Let's find out what's going to happen when we go there. Yep, we're in Dahlia Valley in the past. Well, maybe. I don't know, it looks a little different. Kind of. And apparently I have MOA and Charlie equipped, so I've got the mad speed. Oh yeah, we're in the past, because those turtles are a little different color. Which I think means they're stronger. Because these are shortcuts I couldn't take before, last time I was here, because I didn't have various abilities. And what the heck is this? I see eyes, a horn, and a mouth. Am I inside a monster? Kind of feels that way. In fact, if you kind of look at the map of Dahlia Valley from the screen, it kind of looked like a monster. You can see the legs and stuff. But yeah, I guess we're back in time now. Inside a huge monster of some sort. So I guess Dahlia Valley in the present is just the dead remains of that monster? Is that possible? Sure, anything's possible in this world. So now that we're inside it... What was that one game where you were inside the monster? Abadox? Ast Abadox or something like that. I mean, I know, yeah, that was a space shooter, but whatever. I wonder what our goal is going to be in here. It's a pretty common thing to go inside monsters or large creatures in general in, in role-playing games or action RPGs. Sometimes if you go inside a good creature, the goal will be to, like, make it more comfortable. Like I'm thinking in Landstalker, there was a giant tree that had a monster who had moved into it. So you go inside the tree, go through like a dungeon inside the tree's body, and eventually meet up with that monster and kill it. And as a way of saying thanks, the monster allows you to use its children, which are other trees, to warp all around the place. Stupid me, I'm trying to... There, that's what I want. I want to go fast. No, no, I want to move fast. Let's swing my sword fast. There. I'll have to excuse me. It's about 2.30 in the morning, so I guess I'm a little out of it. I'm not tired, though, which is why I'm doing this. I'm also doing it because... What the... No, 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 no. Okay, do you see what we gotta do here? screwy, but so we have to stand here, knock off these blocks, of course they have to be three hit blocks, four hit blocks, that's just rude, why'd you do that game, that's not nice, five hit blocks, not oh, four hit, they leave a little skeleton behind I guess, Switch to the dumb dippy dino whore. Now we can land right here. Now we can get our sword going on. In fact, I want to swing it quickly. There we go. Yeah. The uh, spikes don't care. I know from experience that I'm not going to have much difficulty with the boss coming up. Oh yes, there's going to be a boss inside this monster, so to speak. I guess you could say the boss is the monster. I don't think I'm giving away too much by saying that. You probably could figure it out as well. Yeah, we're inside a huge freaking monster and we're going to have to kill it. 
from the inside. How do you think we're going to do that? Well, I guess we'll find out pretty darn soon. At least I hope so. So yeah, if we're inside a monster, this is like its body parts and guts and... What the? Oh yeah, we didn't see that. <laughs> These are like its veins and bones and god knows what else. And it has little flamethrowers inside its body. I guess those might be like proton pumps. You know, the things that can cause indigestion. And the fire is actually really strong acid. So this monster has wicked bad heartburn. And we're going to be doing it a favor by killing it because I don't think... Prilosic existed back in the world of Soleil. Mm. Oh, <laughs> didn't see that. <laughs> what the hell? You're right, I have no business being here. But yeah, so we're inside Mother Monster. Which I guess is the mother of all the monsters. And this heart is the boss. And it's the easiest boss in the game. And it's also kind of the saddest boss. That's it. Well, I guess so. Mouth was closed, her eyes were closed, the horn fell off. See, we changed time again. We got rid of a bunch of monsters and an entire dungeon by killing the Puppet Master. And now that we killed another monster, there's no more monsters in Dahlia Valley in the present. So that's a big change to this world, isn't it? So now, let's see where that time tornado is. Oh, it's back in Soleil Town. Hmm, let's go there. No, no, I said... No, you silly. There we go. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Now we're here in the past. See, oh, that statue doesn't exist yet. No one said, like, pick up your sword, boy, because now's the time to fight. Hmm. I wonder if we're going to change what the statue says. Almost everyone's in the church. Well, let's go to the church. Well, maybe we can go to the castle dungeon. Look at the monsters. What the? Uh-oh. Oh, boy, more cowards. Okay, the king is in trouble. Where is he? Well, they said almost everyone is in the church, so maybe the monsters went to the church to kill even more people. See, this game gets... the morality of this game gets so deep, and I, I make fun of it a lot, but I think that's one of the things I really like about the game. The morality is just so confusing and deep. I mean, the monsters claim that they're that they're just like people and they shouldn't be attacked, but then the monsters do stuff like this? I don't know, man. What the heck? Silly monsters. These people are praying to God. See, that'd be nice. Peace of life without bloodshed. Maybe that's the world we're creating. Okay, so where's the king? He's probably off getting dinner somewhere. Hmm. Let's just leave town and see what happens. Nope, the tornado's still there, so I've still got stuff to do. 
Let's look around town some more. Can't get into the houses, probably. This house will be ours someday. Let's see what the sign says now. Tiny? Oh, okay, there was a doggy named Tiny at one point. <laughs> Whoa. That's deep. That's my parents. Including my dead father. That would have really messed with stuff if I'd introduced myself. So where is the king? I guess we'll have to find him next time on Let's Play Soleil. This is Doc Sigma signing off. See you later.